Hi, I'm Linda Conley and this is my Botanical Gardens Weasley necklace. It's inspired by Weasley RHS as it's all set up for the Festival of Light. It's closing their enamel on a hand engraved silver base set in a silver bezel. The chain itself recalls the large airy cathedral like structure of glass houses in Botanical Gardens. It can be removed and worn separately, quite simply. Just like this. So you get two necklaces. Botanical gardens play a vital role in helping to protect the biodiversity of our planet and helping to support the conservation of habitats around the world. The glass houses of Kew and Risley RHS contain plants from around the world so that they can be studied and protected. This is the reverse of the necklace and you can see where the hooks can go into loops which can also have a separate chain. Um, and you can see the hallmark of the London Assay Office and my sponsor's mark, LCC. Here I'm engraving the silver um, to provide the texture under the enamel using hand gravers. Closonet wires being fused up to the surface of the fired enamel. Here we can see um, my preparation and the drawing that I used. And here I've got all the wires on and another layer of colour. Here is all my enamels and where I grind them, all set up ready to work with my colour tests and my drawings that I prepared. Here I've started laying a colour in and over here you can see lots of separate firings of colour. Each layer is fired, another layer, another firing until gradually the colour gets to the top of the wires. gets to the top, it's ready to be ground and polished. Here just a few more recesses being filled. And a few more. This piece would have had probably at least a dozen firings um, over the whole surface. And here we have the finished Botanical Gardens Wisley necklace. Thank you for watching and I hope it helped you understand how it was made.